Hey everyone, it's Nick here. Today we are diving into a topic that's on every home buyer's worst fear. How to avoid buying a new launch condo that might see a price drop after your purchase. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll share some projects that might drop in price soon. To protect ourselves from this, we need to understand the developer's three phases of pricing strategy. Phase 1 is clear stock, phase 2 is price adjustment and phase 3 is all out profit. Let's use Treasure at Tampines to illustrate these phases. Treasure at Tampines was launched in March 2019. The development was in phase 1 pricing for one and a half years. Prices were relatively low as the developer focused on selling as many units as possible to meet bank financing requirements. In phase 2, the developer starts to gradually increase prices once they gain confidence and see more consistent sales. Buyers feel reassured by the development's success and continue purchasing. During phase 3, prices increase significantly as the developer is left with fewer units and is confident they can sell out by TOP. So when is the best time to buy? Let's look at the transactions for the 3 bedroom units in this development. In October 2019, a 3 bedroom on the 8th floor with an unblocked view was sold at 1289 PSF. Slightly more than one year later, the same unit, 2 floors higher, was sold 4% higher. Finally, one year later, a unit on the 12th floor with a worse facing was sold 27% higher than the previous. Why is a worse facing unit sold higher than the better facing units one then? Imagine you are a buyer entering the show flat in 2019 and 2020, you were able to select a wide selection of 3 bedrooms at a relatively same price. Would you have chosen a better or worse facing unit? Indeed, most people would have chosen better facing units. As the premium units sold out, less desirable units became more expensive as the developer increased price over time. The buyers who entered the latest would have no choice but to purchase these less desirable units at a higher price tag. In the sub-sale market, the same level 8 unit was later sold at 1694 PSF in August 2023, netting a profit of 418000 in 4 years. This price was even lower than the Phase 3 developer price. Moving forward, Phase 3 units will struggle to sell competitively due to their higher break-even price. Now let's also look at key residences. In December 2020, a 3-bedroom unit at level 6 was sold at 1784 PSF. Nine months later, the exact same unit, three levels lower, was sold 8% higher. Finally, two and a half years later, a level 2 unit was sold at 21% higher than the level 3 unit. All three units are of the same stack, meaning that they share the same layout and facing. Similarly, in 2020 and 2021, when buyers had more options to choose, they naturally went for the higher floor units when the pricing was similar. As time passed and developers increased their confidence in selling, the remaining units were sold at a higher price even if they were on a lower floor level. To put things into context, the level 2 unit was sold at a whopping $535,000 more than the level 6 unit. Fast forward to today, if all 3 units were to lease their units for sale, the level 2 unit would be facing the most difficulty because not only is there a lower demand for very low floor units, this owner's break-even price is at least half a million higher than the level 6 neighbor. But it's not always best to enter early. Take Hue on Holland as an example. They launched in October 2020 at $2,600 PSF, increased to $2,900 PSF, and then had no sales for months. The developer eventually slashed 17% of their prices and relaunched an average of $2,400 PSF in June 2021. Prices only returned to previous highs in 2023 in the last few developer units. So how do we determine if any project provides a safe entry? Here's a key formula to see if a developer is likely to decrease prices. We take the average number of units sold per month, multiplied by number of months before TOP. If this figure is greater than the total remaining units, it means that the developer is likely to sell out before the project obtains TOP. Hence, this is a safer new launch to purchase. Based on this formula, which projects are at risk of price drops? TMW Maxwell sold 5 units at launch in August 2023, with 319 units unsold out of 324 units and no sales in the last year. This is a very risky project and slightly for a relaunch at a lower price. Terra Hill sold an average of 1.5 units per month with 26 months to GOP, totaling 39 units but there are 154 units remaining. These are 2 out of 5 projects in my list that are likely to decrease price. If you'd like to find out what are the other projects, drop me a text and I'll share with you more. Understanding developer pricing strategies help us find safe purchases in today's market. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Nick. Contact us today if you have any questions. See you in the next one.